Yo everyone, I am Grimsock and welcome to Elder Scrolls Online. This is my second Elder Scrolls Online video, I think. Yeah, it's gotta be. So, today I thought we were going to be, or I was thinking, let's play through the starter area of the Ebonheart Pact, because I've already done it, but, uh, well, yeah, why not? Uh, I know how to play through it now, so I shouldn't run into too many problems. On my main character, I've already managed to um, complete every single quest in Stone Falls, which is the first big area in the Ebonheart Pact. So I've completed everything that you can do there. Because I got an achievement that said, like, stone falls something uh, and it it meant that I had completed every quest in that area so right now I'm, or currently I'm in Deshan which is the second place of the Ebonheart Pact or the second large area it's level 12 to 19 or something <coughs> but yeah it's really cool and um, I thought, why don't I play through it again, and this time as an Imperial, so... I'm going to be an Imperial female. Mm -hmm. This is how she looks. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a Templar. And this is how... Or th These are all the settings. Um, I'm just gonna go through it. Real quick. like that so uh, yeah let's get started create oh you have played through the tutorial with a previous character you may choose to skip through it again with no I don't want to skip that wait Cause I'm gonna do a let's play of it I didn't know even know that you could skip it. So since the last beta they reworked a couple of things in the Wailing Prison which is this first area. <coughs> so uh, what have they changed? Well nothing here in the beginning but... Oh yeah, hi there. Um, but they've changed a couple of things later. And I think they added that piece of cheese too, because, well, I played through this area yesterday, because I had a friend that got into the beta this time. Well, he got the beta key last time, but he couldn't play then. So we can find a couple of things in here now. Oh, weird hitbox. There we go. Pork. Don't need that, really. So let's just look through this uh, little cell and see if we can find anything useful at all. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, now I can see my friends list. Well, that's... That was glitched out yesterday, so I couldn't see anyone that was in line. Mm. Well... Someone is calling me on Skype right now. Can't answer. Sorry. Uh, and also, I'm like, I used the name Septim in my name because it's an Imperial and Septim. That's like Tiber Septim and stuff. So let's talk to him. What's happening? Who are you? Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. What do you want from me? You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from your cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titan. Lyris Titanborn. Who is that? I don't understand. Oh. Hey. Oh. 
Are you going to save me? How convenient. Oh, I had no idea what that this guy would come and save me. Really, I had no idea at all. So this area isn't really funny, but uh, well, if I'm gonna make a playthrough of the start area, I might as well start with the Cold Harbor. So this place has been tweaked because previously you could pick what kind of weapon you want to do use, but now there's only a sword, which I don't know if that was a good choice. But, um, well, they changed it, so there's nothing to do about it. Uh, yeah, I know all of this. Oh, yeah. The blocking animation looks kind of lame. Because what am I doing with my other arm? Just letting people punch it? Let's keep going. And this is the guy who saved me. Urgesine. Urgesine. Yo. Keep moving. More guards are on the way. Yeah, alright. Bye. I've talked to him before. He's a funny guy. Alright, come at me, bro. Oh yeah. Take this and that and a little of both. With a passing of time, any indecision becomes decision. So let me just decline the call on Skype. And let's keep going. Oh no, another enemy. Oh yeah, level up. Mm -hmm. Let's get Adric Spare. Let's invest one point into Magicka. And let's talk to the giant, or half giant. There is Titanborn. You've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards. I see you've armed yourself. Yeah, so who are you? A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. Lyris Titanborn. I was told to find you. What? Who told you to find me? A strange figure appeared in my cell. An old man in rags. Prophet. He spoke to you? What did he say? He said our fates are in, in, uh, intertwined, in, intertwined, intertwined, whatever. I don't really care. Huh. That sounds like the prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. I can still hear his voice in my head. What does he want me to help you do? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tell me it was a long way from here. I'll help you. Why not? I mean, I want to get out of this place as well. I want Dramora. The Daedric armor looks so nice. So I want to try to find a chest or two, so that I can get some armor. Probably a couple of, or a it. pair of pants. That's usually what I get. So there's a map here. 
Come, the sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. What are these sentinels? Magical constructs created by Molag Val to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, it will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. How can we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Val left the sentinels unguarded. Let's go. So before we go there, I'm gonna try to find one chest somewhere. Oh, that was kind of laggy. Goat meat. Let's kill this uh, flame match now. So that yellow spear thing, that was my Adric spear that I used. You, you can just press one uh, to use it. Or well, you press the number one a button with a number one on. No, someone looted the chest. Oh no, that was bad. Now I gotta go and find another one. Wait. Oh, there was a soul driven. I thought there was a player just running into that thing and dying. And also, when they die, they explode, just like they do in Skyrim. Come on, do people actually walk around and loot these chests now? Because no one did in the last beta. Hmm. I found like five chests that weren't looted here. I know that there's one chest here somewhere, at least I think so. Well, I guess I don't know if I just think. Oh. Yeah, is it Thor? Pants. Yay. Green pants. Green pants are awesome. Green pants are the best, at least in all scrolls online. But they are, these are just light armor. You can get some green pants that are medium armor too, I think. But this will really help us later on. I know this isn't really good armor, but it's better than nothing. I hope you like that I'm taking time. Or taking... I hope you like that I'm not rushing through this, is what I'm trying to say. Because I'm not really the person who's rushing through anything at least not in an RPG game so I like to just take my time and uh, play through everything, maybe even find a couple of glitches oh, feral shrew take that and that yay, he's dead oh a monkey, monkey I don't understand how you get the pets. That's just... I have no idea. Let me try to figure it out. Hmm. Hmm. Well... I have no idea. I give up. Chest? Anywhere? I think they nerfed the um, Adric Spear since the last beta. Because what I remember was that it just pretty much one shot at anything. One Adric Spear and never one was dead. So. Well, let's. Keep going, I guess. Think, probably, most likely. Yeah. So we gotta go there or here. I 
I'm so good at this game. Yeah. Ooh. Aw, oh, more light armor. Come on. What? How can... It's like the same armor, but the ones I have are... Like... Better. Well, let's take it. Because they have like a merchant... Cell thing. Enchant. Or perk or whatever you want to call it. It's not an enchant, but uh... Effect or... I don't know. There's gotta be a schist around here somewhere. Come on, schist. I'm really understanding, because everyone thinks that this place is a cave. Everyone I've played with. I always say like, oh, I'm in this big cave in the beginning. And I'm asking them, what are you supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to destroy these uh, sentinels. And I'm like, that's not a cave, come on. Bam. Destroyed. Nail it, come on, Lyris. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, flame astronaut, you want to die? Cause you're gonna die. Sometimes it's a little laggy, like internet laggy. Not really FPS laggy, but well. Uh, maybe we can check one last time if there are any chests here. Please. I want some heavy armor. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna stay around here forever just to try to find some pants. That feels like a waste of time. The door is warded. We'll never get in this way. Oh no, the door is warded. Oh, what are we going to do now? Why are you so tall? Well, because you, your mom was a giant. Or, I Damn think. It. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Who's Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. He was already insane before he left Tenryo. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. How can a madman possibly help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. He knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Let's find this Cadwell. I love how she says, let's go find him, and I'm like, let's find it. We're just saying the same thing. There is you and me, we're like... We're like, um... Uh... uh something. Hey, Cadwell. You know, I can also play a loot. Just... Yeah. There you go. I can play some drum or maybe a flute or maybe just dance. How does the Imperial dance look? Oh, this is amazing. I love this dance. How does she not fall over? I don't get it. I would fall over immediately if I dance like that. Uh, let's sit down and listen. <laughs> oh, I love dripping around with emotes or emotes or whatever. Oh, I'm still just level 2. This guy's level 3.
mage. He, he, that guy over there is definitely a mage, or well, sorcerer. You must be Cadwell. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And Sir Lyris, good to see you with you. How are you there? We're trying to get inside the Prophet's enclosure. The door is sealed. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is convenient, isn't it? I tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a thunderbolt door, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty How do we get through all that? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The light is not the third dose of running and skull bashing as well. Where's the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prop straight away. Do give him my best. Thanks. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? I really gotta go through all of these. I don't think I've ever talked to him, really. Just, just or, I mean, I haven't really gone through all these other dialogue options. So, tell me about yourself, Sir Cadwell. Alright, so he truly is mad. I don't think he ever was a gallant knight and I don't think he ever went on epic quests or rescued any maidens. But I do believe that his head was separated from his body. That seems likely. So how long have you been here? How do you know Lyris? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as sheer gorgeous jammies. Hearts in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man can do that is quite beyond me. What do you know about the prophet? An imperial gentleman. Apparently he was imperial. a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, so, the prophet, he's blind. And I think he mentions sometime later that he's read an Elder Scroll or something. Or he talks about the Elder Scrolls. And I don't mean the game series Elder Scrolls, I mean the actual Elder Scrolls. And apparently he's an Imperial Mage, or was an Imperial Powerful Mage. Which might mean that he was a moth priest in the imperial city because that seems to explain why he is blind or that is probably the explanation why he is blind because well he probably read an Elder Scroll and got blind because everything seems to uh, it seems likely so you don't let's just get going or keep talking to Cadwell. You don't think there's a way to get home? I haven't actually given it much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? <laughs> this guy's real funny. But now I gotta get going. Didn't have anything else to talk about. You do not see me. Well, apparently you do. Get out of there, Lyrus. Oh, you didn't get burned. 
I think it used to be a schist over here somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. Probably. Most likely. <laughs> I gotta stop saying that. So let's get in here. The Undercroft. Sneak by pressing control. So these things have pretty useless stuff in them. That looks really wrong. Oh, he's just sitting on that dude. Alright. Keep going. Traps. So there are more chests around here, but I find them harder to... Or I think that they are harder to find. I find chests with something in them. Oh, maybe not. More light armor, come on. Lockpicks. That's lockpicks are pretty much the only useful thing you can find in these crates and trunks and all of that. If you aren't like a meal crafter, then I suppose there are a couple of useful things in them. But I don't think a lot of people are going to craft meal, so well, might be pretty useless. That looks natural and realistic. 